Let's go straight to the Norwegian capital, Oslo, for the announcement of the winner of the 2016 Nobel Peace Prize. Good morning. The Norwegian Nobel Committee has decided to award the Nobel Peace Prize for 2016 to Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos for his resolute efforts to bring the country's more than 50-year-long civil war to an end, a war that had cost, has cost the life of at, lives of at least 220,000 Colombians and displaced close to 6 million people. The award should also be seen as a tribute to the Colombian people who, despite great hardships and abuses, have not given up hope of a just peace, and to all the parties who have contributed to this peace process. This tribute is paid not least to the representatives of the countless victims of the civil war. President Santos initiated the negotiations that culminated in the peace accord between the Colombian government and the FARC guerrillas. And he has consistently sought to move the peace process forward. Well knowing that the accord was controversial, he was instrumental in ensuring that Colombian voters were able to voice their opinion concerning the accord in a referendum. The outcome of the vote was not what President Santos wanted. A narrow majority of the over 13 million Colombians who cast their ballots said no to the accord. <clears throat> this result has created great uncertainty as to the future of Colombia. There is a real danger that the peace process will come to a halt and that civil war will flare up again. This makes it even more important that the parties headed by President Santos and FARC guerrilla leader Rodrigo Londoño continue to respect the ceasefire. The fact that the majority of the voters uh, said no to the peace accord does not necessarily mean that the peace process is dead. The referendum was not a vote for or against peace. The referendum was uh, the no side, what the no side rejected was not the desire for peace, but a specific peace agreement. The Norwegian Nobel Committee emphasizes the importance of the fact that President Santos is now inviting all parties to participate in a broad-based national dialogue aimed at advancing the peace process. Even those who opposed the peace accord have welcomed such a dialogue. The Nobel Committee hopes that all parties will take their share of responsibility and participate constructively in the upcoming peace talks. Striking a balance between the need for national reconciliation and ensuring justice for the victims will be a particularly difficult challenge. There are no simple answers as to how this should be accomplished. An important feature of the Colombian peace process so far has been the participation of representatives of the civil war victims. Witnessing the courage and will of the victims' representatives to testify about atrocities and to confront the perpetrators from every side of the conflict has made a profound impression. By awarding this year's Peace Prize to President Juan Manuel Santos, the Norwegian Nobel Committee wishes to encourage all those 
who are striving to achieve peace, reconciliation and justice in Colombia. The President himself has made it clear that he will continue to work for peace right up until the very last day in office. The committee hopes that the Peace Prize will give him strength to succeed in this demanding task. Furthermore, it is the committee's hope that in the years to come, the Colombian people will reap the fruits of the ongoing peace and reconciliation process. Only then will the country be able to address effectively major challenges such as poverty, social injustice, and drug-related crime. The civil war in Colombia is one of the longest civil wars in modern times and the sole remaining armed conflict in the Americas. It is the Norwegian Nobel Committee's firm belief that President Santos, despite the majority vote in the referendum, has brought the bloody conflict significantly closer to a peaceful solution and that much of the groundwork has been led for both the verifiable disarmament of the FARC guerrillas and a historic process of national fraternity and reconciliation. His endeavors to promote peace thus fulfill the criteria and spirit of Alfred Nobel's will. Thank you. Madam Leader of the Committee, uh, would you say that this year's prize, first of all, encourages a process more than a result due to the fact, as you say, that the slim majority of Colombians, they voted no in the referendum. It is an acknowledgement of the very hard work and the very important initiative that President Santos has made. And it is, of course, and as we state in the announcement text, uh, a strong encouragement, we hope, for all parties in uh, these negotiating processes to do their utmost to reach a good result acceptable to the people. Why have you chosen not to divide uh, the price between uh, the parties of the peace process? There are many parties in this peace process, and the announcement text I just read to you uh, shows very clearly that the President Santos has been taking the very first and historic initiative. There has been other uh, tries to reach peace deals in Colombia, but this time he went, let me put it, all in. And the government, he as the leader of the government, went all in with uh, a strong will to reach a result. And this is why we have put the emphasis on the president of Colombia. But remember, he is also the head of state of Colombia. Would it also be nearly impossible to give the award to a guerrilla movement? We never comment on those who do not receive the reward, we concentrate our comments on uh, the laureate of this year. Have any of you spoken to the president yet, and what was his reaction? No, we have not done that. In the modern world, it's a bit tricky to try to <laughs> give announcements in advance, but uh, we are trying to establish contact right now. Do you think he will be as surprised as the rest of us? We will see what will be the comments of the president. Do you think this prize will be disputed worldwide? Well, it's not unnormal for peace prizes to... Okay, let's come out of this press conference. So we have the winner there of the 2016 Nobel Peace Prize going to the Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos for his attempts to bring about peace and end the 52-year civil war in Colombia. But it was a bit of a shock announcement, actually. Uh, let's discuss this with uh, our correspondent, Sandra Gathman, who is actually just back from Colombia. Uh, 
What do you make of this uh, win by uh, the Colombian president? Because it's interesting what happened just on Sunday, because the people of Colombia have actually not voted for the uh, peace accord. This is the second shock in a week, Maureen, because we had this slim referendum win by the no camp. Everyone assumed that this peace deal was going to be supported by the Colombian people. And soon after it didn't win, um, experts uh, turned to those in Norway asking questions about whether they were still in the running. And many categorically denied that possibility that they could win this prize simply because in the eyes of many, especially in the international community, they had failed at this point to reach peace. Now, uh, as the Nobel Committee just said, that isn't the case. They are still locked in negotiations. So it's not a done deal that this peace process has failed as such. The ceasefire is still in place as well. So the conflict as it stands uh, hasn't continued. So there is that hope. And this is what the Nobel Committee said, that this peace process has every chance of succeeding. Indeed, uh, the committee making the point that the vote of the referendum was not a vote against peace. It was still in place. The negotiations are still in place. That is what the opposition have said as well. And they've been heavily campaigning against this peace process. They've said that it essentially uh, hands the country to a guerrilla group. Uh, but they still want to stay on the negotiating table. And so does the FARC. And so there is a lot of hope, although there was dismay from the people who supported uh, passing this peace agreement. Um, there is a lot of hope that they can reach some middle ground. The FARC were expected at some point to back off the negotiating table simply because of what the opposition have been demanding, uh, punishment for their crimes uh, and the, their ability to be uh, elected into office. They weren't happy about the FARC participating in politics. So if, if the opposition were, was going to join the negotiating table and bring those demands, there was that fear that the FARC were going to back out. But it doesn't seem the case, at least not in these last few days. So uh, it is a victory for peace because there is that hope going forward. And remember, just because this final agreement uh, may be signed in the next few months, we don't know that. It's the start of a peace process and reconciliation. And there have been huge efforts in Colombia throughout the last few years, integrating former FARC fighters, um, speaking to victims, getting the two to meet. Um, putting up programs to reintegrate victims, giving them homes, uh, working on agricultural investment in the countryside, working on educational programs, equipping the police force with the tools to uh, gain the trust of communities uh, whose trust they've lost over this 52-year-long conflict. So it's a process, as the Nobel Committee said. And the man responsible behind achieving that they feel is Juan Manuel Santos, who's gambled his entire political career on this agreement because going into his presidential campaign two and a half years ago, he said he was going to bring peace to Colombia. He was so close, but they still believe he can manage. It was interesting, the reporter asking uh, the Nobel Committee whether this prize should have been shared. Do you think it should have been shared or do you think he is the man who rightly deserves the whole prize? Um, firstly, I think it was a shared effort, absolutely. This has been a four-year-long process. In the public eye, there were secret talks beforehand. The team of negotiators, I think many would agree, receive should receive a lot of credit. Humberto de la Calle, Sergio Jaramillo, these are two names that many in Colombia know very well because they've been traveling to Havana over the last four years, bringing thousands of victims along, people from the police force, people from all sides of this conflict to try and push an agreement through. And these two men from the negotiating team will have a lot to do with what was very nearly achieved. But Juan Manuel Santos, many credit with um, having that determination, that political will, as the Nobel Committee just described, to carry this through. Um, and I do think that uh, this will help his popularity because his popularity, the support among the Colombians was at an all-time low at around 30%. He hasn't got a, another term to fight for, but it will do a lot for his long-term political story. How do you think this win is going to go down in Colombia? You've been there for the last few weeks speaking to people and the vote, the referendum vote must have come as a blow to many. How do you think this win will go down? Will it help morale? It depends who you ask, I think. Uh, those who were disappointed with the referendum result will feel vindicated. I think they're going to uh, have a lot of uh, 
sympathy towards the president's efforts and feel that those efforts have been uh, rewarded by this prize. Um, if you ask people on the opposition side, I think they will, they will perhaps feel that the president was after this prize. That's something I heard a lot in Colombia in the lead up to this. They thought Juan Manuel Santos wants this peace agreement to go through and he's pushing this through, even staging a huge signing ceremony in Cartagena, inviting world leaders just to grab this Nobel Peace Prize. So I think that's one sentiment we're going to hear on the streets as well. Well, just looking at the Nobel Peace Prize, what does it mean to a, to a winner? What, it just, does it have any tangible benefit? Um, there is cash involved but I think there's a lot of prestige as well. Um, for President Juan Manuel Santos, this is going to do a lot for his standing in Latin America, ending uh, effectively, if this peace agreement uh, is finally implemented, ending the last civil war in the Western Hemisphere. And that's going to uh, go hand in hand with his name in the history books. Indeed, he is definitely going down the history books. Sandra, really good to speak to you about this. Sandra Gethman there.